Yo, what's good up YouTube? Kilbo here, and today I got a pretty exciting video to share with you guys. So today I want to make a video about how I make YouTube videos and those concerned with gaming in particular. So let's just jump right into it. So starting things off, I want to make the analogy to creating or making a YouTube video like baking cake because you need a recipe and ingredients in order to get your desired product. But before I even think about any of that, one thing that helps me is always a little bit of caffeine. So I always start everything off with a cup of coffee. Moving on to the ingredients, again, going back to that cake analogy, one person might use 2% milk while another person might use whole milk. Same for YouTube videos, another content creator could use different devices compared to my own. But let's just jump right into the ingredients. So for the console of choice, I use a PlayStation 4. That's just, you know, again, my personal preference. As for the capturing devices, I use an Elgato HD60. If you don't have a capture device like this, I'm sure there's other ones. Um, and if you don't have one at all, you could use the capture gallery on PlayStation 4. And I'm sure there is a substitute on Xbox as well, kind of like a capture gallery application. And if you don't have either one of those, then you could, I'm sure, use your smartphone or telephone because the camera on those things nowadays are crazy. And for my case, I use that iPhone 8 Plus and I was recording that video on my old iPhone just because I like to hang on to it. It's pretty handy for um, cases like this. Now, as for editing and the actual editing software that I use, I use a Mac and the softwares that I use to edit is actually iMovie. And I think this kind of here is like a little inception clip because I'm screen recording the screen that I'm going to put into my video that I'm actually recording right now, the commentary and voiceover. So I think that's just kind of, you know, inception. But I love iMovie for editing. I mean, you could also use Adobe Premiere Pro here as well as an editing software, but I love iMovie, it does the job done, and that's why I use it, and it's really simple. Um, so if you're starting out, I highly recommend iMovie, I still use it, maybe in the future I'll move on. But as for, um, so that's for editing, and then for another kind of editing software, because it kind of, because it fits into that same genre for um, software and applications, is Adobe Illustrator, and I use this to make my thumbnails. Now, I've met with a buddy, Coleman Geiger, awesome guy, um, we've met a few times about branding and everything, so this is my thumbnail, and you know, Thumbnails are an important part of YouTube videos because it gets the people to click on your video. So I always have like a nice template and I've met with him. He's a graphic design artist. And um, so I put my picture in here and I edit all this, but that could be another video of how I make thumbnails, but I use um, Adobe Illustrator for thumbnails. So that does it for the main core or the main ingredients for making a YouTube video. However, if you, you know, want to make commentaries just like this one in particular, then you need something to record your voice with. Again, you could use your phone or to increase your quality, you can use an actual microphone. So in my case, I use a Blue Yeti <clears throat> along with an arm stand and then a pop filter. So it kind of filters out, out those words that, you know, kind of pop. I'm not sure really how to explain it. Or you could use the uh, microphone from your headset as well. In addition to audio, something else that you can use for your videos is something visual like cameras. I have two of them. I use a Logitech C920 just because it uses 1080p. Again, that quality because I want the best quality for my viewers. And then I also use the PlayStation camera just because of the ease of streaming. Um, so I use both of those. And then I like using um, Apple products just because of the pure uh, simplicity for creators. And so for example, I use my iPhone to shoot the actual in real life video of the microphone or the webcams. And then you can use iMessage or iDrop whatever and then send them to your Mac because that's what I use to edit. And then from my Mac, I can drop those into iMovie to edit them. And so you guys will see them in the actual final product. So that's something I think is super interesting. And again, that simplicity and these are my ingredients. Some people might use different, you know, Microsoft, whatever, but these are just the ingredients and devices that I use. And um, one extra thing that I love and I highly recommend if you're um, making YouTube videos is an external hard drive because um, as for Mac and I think even just normal um, PC or like personal computers, they don't have a lot of internal storage and it costs a lot of money to put a higher internal storage into your um, computer. So I highly recommend an external storage. I have one that's two terabytes just because again, I like to record in the highest quality. So 1080p, sometimes even 4K. That takes up a lot of room so I can fit all that on my external hard drive. 
So that pretty much does it for all the devices and ingredients that I use in order to create my YouTube videos. However, at the end, I just wanted to mention a few miscellaneous items that just help with the fluidity of making these videos um, a reality. So one of them is just an outline. It just helps with the structure when I wanna mention things and in what particular order I wanna talk about them. So I already had an outline made for this. I can include it here. And alongside the outline, a few other things that help the process and creation of a YouTube video go by a lot smoother is of course being passionate and I know passion that deserves its own video because I mean passion drives motivation and I was like so excited to make this video and I still am I don't know if you can tell by the energy and it's couldn't obviously be the caffeine but I'm just so excited about making this video I had um, had an idea about it last night and w waking up this morning I was just so excited I'm so blessed to have the opportunity to wake up and make a YouTube video like this of course you know school comes first but um, passion really drives motivation and that alongside with the outline and music all those and then all the ingredients and all the devices um, all those pretty much come together to making a YouTube video a lot easier and just like the whole I guess behind the scenes of how I make these videos so I hope you guys did enjoy um, if you guys could drop a thumbs up I did work really hard on it so that would be much appreciated or maybe even share the video um, that's all I pretty much had for uh, how to make a YouTube video uh, the gameplay style one and I'll include a few clips here at the end, just, you know, behind the scenes or bonus clips or whatever. But um, just to reiterate again, hope you guys did enjoy. And you do like always, ich werde euch nächstes Mal sehen. Yo, what's going up YouTube? Kibble here. And today I got a pretty exciting video to share with you guys. So today I want to make a video about how I make YouTube videos and those concerned with gaming in particular. So let's just jump right into it. because the PlayStation can only do, I think, 720p, so that's just the, um, the quality of the video. What happened here? A Java update, oh my day. 